All right, what's cracking, everybody? I just got out the shower. My dog right here. Just got out the shower. Um, last night, I did a couple lives, right? And um, as I was signing off, uh, one of my subscribers, that's I didn't, I didn't check for your name right now. I should have. Um, he super chatted me some money and that's for a YA story, right? So I thought it was only right since I cut out right when he sent the money. So today's story, YA story, another YA story. So back before um, Chad opened up, right? Um, in 1992, before the whole, I talked about it in another video where um, before the, the new director took over, um, it used to be if you were from Southern California, you went to every single youth authority facility, didn't matter where it was. And the Raza from up north only went to uh, like five facilities and they were all in Northern California. So as you can imagine, um, the Raza from up north were very deep in those facilities because that's, that's, they weren't spread all over the state. And um, the Raza from Southern California that went up there, um, they had uh, the odds against them in every way because they were outnumbered. And a lot of the times, um, the Raza from up north wouldn't even, as um, soon as they would get off the bus and try to go in the dorms, they would get them, they would whack them. You know, they weren't gonna let them set up shop and get, start making their weapons and, you know. Um, so this story is, I want to say it happened in 1991. Um, if anybody was there, they, they'd know better. Um, but I believe it was 1991. Um, and we heard about, I was in Paso at the time. And this took place in Preston. And at the time, Preston, again, the, the, the Raza from down south was completely outnumbered. Um, so there was an individual, and he was from, uh, he was from Rockwood. Right, if I remember right, he was from Rockwood, and I don't know if he had a medical condition or he was just going through some kind of therapy at the time or whatever. But he had to go when when his unit would go to 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 chow in the morning, um, his unit or whatever it was, his he had to report to medical every morning. You know, so you're basically gonna go to medical at the same time every day. So that's what this individual was doing. You know, every morning he'd peel off, boom, go to medical, get whatever his treatment was or his medication, whatever it was. And um, Novatos from up north noticed it, like, hey, every morning, set your time by this dude. You know what I mean? So uh, one day he goes to medical and uh, on his way back out from medical, uh, the Rasa from up north had decided that day was his day, right? And so uh, they were waiting on him because they knew when he'd come and when he'd leave. And uh, he came out of medical and they started whacking him. Uh, I don't remember how many they said it was. I remember they were saying it was four or five, six dudes. I don't know. I don't know that at all, but I know they had their shit. Uh, he didn't. And um, so they jump on him. Now, the twist on this day was about the from 18th Street. I don't know if he had signed up for sick call or what happened, but he happened to be in medical. And as he was coming out, he saw the move going down. The the Vato from Rockwood didn't see it coming, I guess. And as they went towards him, the Vato from 18 took off running, boom, to get involved, right? And um in the, in the scuffle, you know, the scuffle ensued and, you know, people were doing what they were doing. And um, when the dust settled, the water from 18th Street was dead. He was killed, right? And um, for those of you that don't know, you know, everybody in LA knows, but for those of you that don't know, here's, here's the kicker, here's the twist. And this is, this is Rockwood and 18th Street are enemies. Uh, that Vato from 18 could have easily acted like he didn't see what was going on. Slow dragged in medical, you know. Nobody would have known. Alarms would have went off. Could have lied and said, I tried to get there, whatever. 
but that wasn't that guy. You know, that guy was like, that's a homie. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go over there. And this is in YA, you know, and he ran over there and he gave his life to somebody who's from a rival neighborhood. And I remember we were talking about it in, in Fossil. We're like, Dad, because in Fossil, it was different. You know, it was gangbanging, gangbanging, gangbanging. In Preston, it, it couldn't be that because there was a different type of enemy there, you know. And that, that superseded your, your petty uh, neighborhood rivalries, you know. And um, and I remember we were talking about it, and, and, and I was like, damn, man. That Walter from Rockwood, I guarantee he'll never do a Hale on 18 again. Like, how how could he, you know, like... He was alive because his enemy gonna lay down his life for him, you know. Uh, that's some deep shit if you think about it, you know. And 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 keeping in mind, um, these guys were probably 18 years old, 19 years old. Preston, you had to be an adult at the time, uh, so they were probably both of them under 20 years old, uh, doing their thing, you know, and. Uh, one died protecting the other one, and they were both rival enemies. It's crazy shit, right? Um, I don't remember the names of the individuals. Like I said, I only remember it was Rockwood in 18. Um, but that was, you know, unfortunately... That was the type of shit that occurred in YA. Remember, these are kids, man. You know, it, 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 that, that one happened to be one of the adult facilities where you could be there uh, until your 25th birthday, and then they take you back to the county and decide if they're going to bound you over to the CDC or, or cut you loose. Um, but like I've said before, um, Gil on American Cholo has said it too. The California Youth Authority back then bred killers, you know. Um, in a lot of ways... The CDC was more treacherous than uh, the CDC. I mean, the CYA was more treacherous than the C than the CDC, but only because the, the youth authority was 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 buck wild. It was a wild west. You know, if you didn't like somebody, you could go over there and smack them in their face. You know what I mean? And do whatever. Um, but anyways, I don't want to get off off topic. I'm getting texts. My I not texting me. Super Groupie just texted me, hey, I'm going to be seeing Super Groupie at the end of next month. I'm going to try to get him on camera for those of you that remember him. But anyways, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's going to be a quick one. Um, reminder, I'm going to be pulling the names for, for those two books. Um, I'll be getting one of the books on Tuesday, I think. And um, I don't remember. I'll check, but I'll be getting the books soon. As soon as I get them that weekend, probably I'll do the, I'll, I'll do the live Pull the name so you guys see who got them. And then uh, whoever the winners are, I'm going to need you to email me. Uh, so you can tell me what names you want me to. Because um, like I said, I'm going to sign the books. I'm going to make put a personal message in each book for the winner. All right. So with that, man, I'm on. You guys have a good night.